Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to part two of the Nibelheim Flashback Special. Cause that's what we're calling this now. Uh -huh. And I really had to take a break from the last time, so this is actually a different recording session. Um, no, actually, I legitimately just ran out of stamina from my throat because in between the distance between this the distance in time between now and the previous video for me was about two days the distance between the previous video and the one before it was closer to a month um so it takes a little bit for my throat to get used to it and actually have more stamina basically because my throat will just get like really worn out and ragged if I try to do too much at once anyway I'm not gonna dig around in this place because it's actually quite large there's no sign of Sephiroth but I know I saw him going to this room gee I wonder where he could be it's a secret door not even very secret, I mean, it's pretty obvious to be honest. I mean, if you weren't looking at all, then you might not notice it, but you know, whatever. Honestly, I wouldn't blame the guard if that was the case. I mean, Sephiroth could just fuck him up so badly, and not just by killing him either, although he could certainly do that. He could fuck him up professionally as well. Sephiroth is, after all, pretty much his boss. Um. But anyway. An apparently dead organism was found who thousand years ago. Wait, no. Was found in a two thousand year old geological stratum. It wasn't. It was not, in fact, found two thousand years ago. Professor Gask named the organism. Genova. Oh, so you're saying ancients are monsters. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure that's actually accurate, because I'm pretty sure Aerith is an ancient. And if you compare Aerith and Genova, even if no... Even if you assume the Genova had a head at some point, you have got to think that, I mean, they look pretty different. Like, Aerith looks, looks like a human. Genova does not. Genova is like, Vaguely humanoid at best. Um. But Senpai! But Senpai! But Senpai! Notice me, Senpai! Senpai didn't notice me. Every time. Okay. Well, he said leave, so I guess we'll leave. Sephiroth didn't come out of the Shinra Mansion. Every single time. Just once, I would like to try to record something and not have someone freaking phone me. <sighs> Although partially it's my own fault for not turning the thing off. At the same time, at the same time, it's like, it's like clockwork. Hmm. That's an interesting safe. But we can't interact with it, so it must not be important. Hmm, this music is ominous, though. Uh, okay, what are you guys doing here? 
Oh, it's that kind of game. Why? Shinner showed up to eliminate any information that could be embarrassing to the company. That's very astute of you. What indeed? Okay, I guess I guess we'll go back in then. For lack of better options. Hey, bro. It's different, you say. Different how? Like, haha, -ha different? He didn't really strike me as having much of a sense of humor. Or murderously different? Let's be honest, that's not really much of a difference. <laughs> He's a pretty intimidating guy, is what I'm saying. Okay, Senpai's laughing. That's a good thing, right? R right? It's me, Senpai. <laughs> what? Traitor? No! How could you say that? You ignorant traitor, I'll tell you. Uh, okay then. Well, you told me all right. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. What? What are you... Okay? Disaster. What sort of disaster, Senpai? Okay, so why is that bad? Wait, what? No, that doesn't sound quite right. Also, who are the Cetra? Has, th has that been revealed yet? I honestly don't remember. Um, I mean, I do actually know who the Cetra are, but... I legit- I honestly don't remember whether or not a... Has, like, has that been said? I don't freaking remember. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, well, now it's been said. The Cetra or the Ancients. Well, yeah, you see, Senpai is actually a robot. Um. <laughs> no. No, he's not a robot. Uh, where are you going? And you're sort of like, you're sort of stomping. Well, that, that cannot be good. He's talking, he, first of all, he's clearly lost his mind. And second of all, I do not at all like the sound of that ominous music that's playing right now. We should probably, like, head out there or something and, you know, try to not have him murder us and everything we hold dear. I'm really crossing my fingers on- Oh. Well then. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, he just ran straight into a fire. Hmm. I guess so did I, though. I mean, this house is clearly very on fire. So... Terrible. Sephra, this is too terrible! Oh, well, they're dead. 
I think he bisected the head of that one guy. That's sort of what it looked like. Also, Sephiroth is evidently fireproof. And Senpai still won't notice me! Why won't you notice me, Senpai? We'll have to handle this by force! Also, you've gone completely crazy, so I should probably do something about that. Especially since you are... You're probably the, the single most dangerous person on the planet. Um, so... You going on a murderous rampage is not... It's particularly bad, I mean... In general, anyone going on a murderous rampage, regardless of who they are, is usually not a good thing, but it's all the more bad when it's someone who is as badass as you. Uh, senpai. Uh, this looks familiar. Mm. And thus explains the backstory of why T Tifa joined Avalanche. Because she hates, because Sephiroth killed her father, and also murdered everyone she hold, holds dear. Except for Cloud, of course. Uh... Huh. The... Oh! You know... First of all... The fall down the stairs alone could have easily broken something on Tifa, but also... She should have like a huge scar across her... her... abdomen. Ah! Uh, which as far... I mean, let's be honest, these models aren't really detailed enough to show that sort of thing. But... Hmm... You know that's something to keep in mind for the, when the for the inevitable. Well, it is actually inevitable. They've announced it. The remake. I want to see that scar on Tifa at some point. Damn it. That would be really cool, but I don't think. But something tells me Square won't actually go through with it. Still, it would be really cool to see. And pretty accurate. Because seriously, she just had like this huge diagonal slash across her abdomen. Yeah, I did. And here I am. Anyway, let's go deal with this. Hmm. Okay, well, on the one hand, that looks more humanoid than the Genova I saw previously, and less like a horrible monster. On the other hand, it's clearly a robot. So, I just don't even know. I mean, it's still clearly not the same thing as Aerith, but just, I don't even know. Uh, oh, what? Ruler? Whoa. It's dialogue in a cutscene. This looks so wrong. Sephiroth's model. Genova is. Okay, well, that just happened. But also. Genova has is so much higher quality than Sephiroth. Like there's so many more polygons in the thing he just ripped off. Oh yeah, this looks familiar. It has a head though. Um. Oh, okay, I lost my trail of thought there for a second. There are so many more polygons in the all the scenery here, including the part that Sephiroth just destroyed, than there are in the model and Sephiroth himself. It's, it's, I mean, it stands out throughout the whole game. 
because most of the backgrounds in this game are beautiful, although a little lo a little on the low resolution uh, matte paintings. But in the cutscene, especially, the difference is just huge. Okay, so. Oh hey, wait, I just realized. Did Senpai finally notice me? I, senpai! I trusted you, Senpai! You're not the Senpai I used to know! You will... After this, you will never... You'll never fail to notice me again! Okay, I think that's enough of the senpai thing now. We're, we're not going to bring that up again for a while. Although I'm sure it'll rise up soon at some point later on. But I digress. Yeah, that's definitely true. That it, uh, huh. Okay. I mean, that part at least seems plausible. None of this makes sense. Okay. I mean, you're right. There are a few holes in this story. Uh, wait a second. Promised Land Swamp, this man. That is, t I'm conv fairly convinced at this point that, that the Promised Land is in fact metaphorical. I don't think it's a literal place. Uh, what? These these responses don't make any sense. Whatever. E How about indeed? Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, there's that aspect as well. Aerith Poets and Angel ancient. Still going with Genova does, looks more like a monster than a human, though. Although I will admit, with her head, she does look a lot more humanoid. If that even was her head, because it looked kind of artificial to me. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's GDFO. We got a cell phone! With this, we can change party members at any time. Woohoo! But we're not going to actually use it right away. Uh, what I am going to do, after hitting the correct bouton, equip this. Uh, but nothing for you. Also, I have this garbage. Uh... Let's do that, and that, and- oh. Well, okay then. Now... I think heal. Also, who- you have sense. I don't give a shit about sense. Magic! More magic. Of course, at this point she has, like, minus six strength. Which, we're still in the p part of the game where that is somewhat significant. Like, she only has 18 strength. She would have one... Her strength would increase by 33% if I took off all of her uh, green materia. But... Whatever. Um... Weird, I'm not going to. Uh... Oh, well, would you look at the time? This is actually a good spot to stop. So, join me next time when we continue heading east, and probably get some more enemy skills, and also do other stuff.
Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Baloo! And we're spinning. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>